preparing for their hero. All right, Fantastic goes down. Bringing out Guaranteed Win, AKA Sherwin. <laughs> All right, we got Dudley versus Yon. Oh, we got a Dudley on screen. This is great. I was about to say Sherwin's got good defense, then he gets popped. So, commentator, almost the commentator. First. Go forward. Positional activate. That little pause right there, he faked. He faked going into a command grab. He stood there trying to see if Dudley would respond. Nothing happens. So if you guys are wondering what we're playing on, believe it or not, we are playing on an actual candy cab. We're not playing on the PS3 or the Xbox 360 version. This ain't an emulation on Fight Cave. No, you're watching actual Third Strike. The way it's supposed to be played on a machine. So, uh, this is not tournament just yet. We're still doing casuals. The tournament is about to start though. So again, stay tuned. All right. Yes, I get to move over to the actual commentator spots. There we go. And I've got no. <laughs> there it is. Yay. Yes, actual third strike. You'll, you'll hear a lot of the players, in, and they would they would tend to agree. The emulations and all the ports of third strike on the consoles. Uh, not real third strike. It's, it's not perfect. So exactly, no port BS. So as you see, it let's go Dudley, and it gets perfect. All right, two of the Titans facing off in pregame showtime. Nika Ko versus Yuki Spencer. Hey, hey, Lloyd, show the show the viewers your shirt. Show the viewers your shirt. Yes. Representing the Third Strike Fight Club is Nika KO. We'll get him on the mic in a little bit, figure out where we can get those exquisite Third Strike shirts. But for now, these guys are going to play the Battle of the Twins. Yana versus Yang, Duo Maxwell versus Cho Barton. Here we go. That's the Fierce. Activate Canadian. Oh, see now that, see now that dash punch? Safe. Nice, that fierce, and the roundhouse, keeping Yang cornered. Yang on the ropes, Hopkins no good. Gets the stand short, EX slashes. Yuki though responds with a throw. Showing his authority. I am the superior bro right now. Good parry there from Yang. One, two, three. That's all that weird stuff. Yuki leans, himself, leans his head back, wondering what the heck just happened. Activates Gen Agent from a distance. Now, Lloyd spent a lot of time playing Yun as well, so he knows what to look for. All right, joining me on commentary, give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Carson Lee. What's up, brother? Yo, hey, man. How's it going? Hey. Carson Lee here. Let's change this. Carson. Yes. Kevin Tempura. Kevin Canada. Tempura. <laughs> Kevin Tempura. All right, sing I think Single's going to start soon. Yes. All right, let's do it up. This is the final kind of like casual play. Yeah. All right, here we go. So some of the uh, viewers earlier, man, there's, like, you look anywhere in, the, in this bracket, there's no easy side to this bracket. It's full of killers. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. I, I'm scared myself. Okay. Did you join? Oh, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you could go to the, uh, the link on Challenge, and they have, you know, all the... They have like, it on? I mean, I'm looking at the bracket, and it's it's ridiculous. Oh, my God. Some of the players we have in here. I mean, on one end, like, Face is on top. Ricky Ortiz is playing. Is Ricky here? Ricky is supposed to be here. Ricky so. is here? Okay. Uh, you got a lot of players, again, all over California, Texas, New York City, international, France, represented strongly. Guys, this is where to be if you love Third Strike. So let's have some fun. We're about to start. Once we get the word from the man himself. Oh, that's a great song. All right, let's, let's look at this bracket. Yeah, we're looking at the bracket right now. Exodus has just brought up the bracket for us. I mean, you can look at it right here. All right, good. All right, here we go. Let's do it up, guys. We are about to start. 
All right, folks. See, I miss that song. The rap group Infinite was the one behind all of the music for Third Strike. Such great music to listen to. Okay, here you go. And now you're watching the computer against the computer. Because all right, guys, just yeah. hang tight. We're starting soon. EXO is just gathering the first couple of uh, people, and we should be good to go. Exactly. Where'd the mouse go? Uh, it's right oh, there. there. All right. Uh, whatever. We're just making sure we can see the brackets as well as the stream. We want to make sure we don't miss any of the action. Uh, we might need to have EXO put a bracket command on, so... We got a TFC tournament .com slash something something like I don't, I don't know uh, TFC 2016 third strike clash I don't know he it's got like some long winded name that I'm never gonna remember so you know what you know what though you know we were saying yesterday that it wouldn't be too late to come but if you look outside I think it is too late to come it is Matthew I think is Matt, Matthew's a little angry right Matthew's now. Matthew's a little angry. I actually on my phone I got like a flood warning. Did oh you get really? That? Yeah, I, I got a flood warning. No, I have warnings turned off on my phone. I prefer to Here, just go I, in. I got this one. Yeah, I got a flood warning. Really? I probably did too and I just kind of ignored yeah, okay, it. Okay, no problem. That tends to happen. No, the only alerts on my on my phone right now are Cam Newton is not uh, he's really pulled out. Uh, so apparently According to Reddit, this tournament is just Ricky Ortiz, a bunch of randoms, and one dude that got yeah, hit twice. I think I think it's amazing. All right. This is yeah. <laughs> We're doing everything right. We're delayed. We can't find anybody No one right now. is here. Yes. Are any big players coming like MLV or Haitani? Oh uh, my God. I mean, French player Nyeban is here. A lot of the top players from the U.S. Five star Yi Wang is here. How many people entered in total? Yeah, 56 people. That's that's huge for a third strike tournament nowadays. But this is the clash of the titans again. Thank you to Exodus for making sure this all gets facilitated. Thanks to the guys over at the Fall Classic for having third strike. We'd also like to give a shout out to the melee community. Now, uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of backstory is that the whole pot bonus. Uh, everybody got to vote on one game that would get a huge pot bonus from TFC. Now, third strike actually was in the lead up until the melee community up and mobilized, and you know how with great numbers they all uh, they all pushed the vote beyond well, right, third strike. Right. But third strike had like 200 votes versus like we were really close. Yeah, we were really yeah. good, right? So the big uh, the big uh, the the big game room or something like that uh, is, is one of the major is one of the major one of the major tournaments for uh, for Smash Brothers, and it's happening the same weekend. Yeah. So a lot a lot of the players are actually going to be there. Am I am I first? Oh wow, my commentator has to play. Wow, I was telling the story to Carson here, and now you called him away. All right, Carson's up. So coming in, coming in. Who, let's see who's who's joining in. Oh, our our favorite. One of America's favorites, after Yuri and Ryan, now just... Uh, can Ryan. we change the names? Okay, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I'm in here. So, player one is who? Player one's who? Uh, player one is... Who? What's... This is, uh, I don't know this guy, yeah. Carson is one of them. Well, Carson's one of them. The other guy is... Let's, let's take a look at the bracket. Uh, it's Tyler Morris, SPG Osaka. SPG Osaka 56. Spa. <laughs> Okay, anyways, we got Chun-Li Mir. Uh, what a way to start out the tournament. No other better way. And starting with two top, t the top of this game. Yeah. Now you're the Chun specialist here. Tell us about how this matchup goes, usually mirror-wise. Yeah, it's it's really interesting actually. Is the There's a golden rule of Chun-Li Chun-Li. Really? And you never use super in the first round if it's not going to kill. That's a very, a very good way of looking at it. I imagine you want the fear factor for the uh, rounds two and three. Is yeah, that right? Because if you if you kill your meter in the first round, um, and then the other person ends up winning, then you you're totally screwed, basically. Indeed. So yeah, this matchup is very uh, spacing oriented. Of course. Yes. Um, 
A lot of people say it's boring. I think it's really, really interesting. <laughs> now, one of the things I've, I've been telling new players to this game, if you ever watch Dragon Ball Z, there is a the, the first fight, and it's like one of the Cybermen versus you know one of the scrub fighters for the Z team. Yeah. And Gohan is like he's w trying to watch the fight. He's like I don't see anything. When you see all the other fighters like looking around, it's not about the bells. It's not about the flashing lights in this game. You've got to watch everything. Yeah. Where the where Chun is sitting, what is happening, what the resources are, a lot to look at. And it's not flashy at all. But when you finally learn to look beyond just doing moves and hitting buttons, yeah. Then the beauty of this game gets. It, it gets expressed, and you start to see things deeper than just, hey, he hit low forward in the super. Yeah, and this this matchup I, is like really, really psychological, uh, like warfare. Oh my gosh, yeah. psychological, great way to put it. So that was first game to, I believe, Carson. Carson Lee. Good job, Carson. Representing Canada. <laughs> Kevin Tempura, actually, is the, the name he's supposed to be going by. I don't wonder what that means. <laughs> I have no idea. I want another joke about that one. Yes. And round one. Round one. Okay, so so he uses meter to kill, and that's right exactly what he should, should be doing. Right. So now he builds a meter. And look at they're almost going to be equal in even meter. So. And building meter is a really, really important skill for this matchup. Oh, yes. Uh, safely. Building meter safely. It sounds easy. Well, just do back here, but it's really hard. Yeah. <laughs> You can't you can't leave yourself open to anything. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, that's a good super there by uh, SPG. Mm -hmm. Still got one bar. Throw in the corner. That's gonna that's be it. Good. good job, Carson. Carson. Is that? Got a three. So we're good. Okay. All right. Carson Lee takes it. Ryan, thank you for your insight on that matchup. You're welcome. I'll see you guys probably again later. Very good. Good luck, man. Yeah. That was Yay, too... I did it. <laughs> I'm trying to do this. I'm terrible at this stuff, so. Here, I'm, Carson, I'm going to let you do it. I don't know how to do it. Okay. Well done. Well fought. Way to open the tournament with a victory. Okay, I just submitted it. Okay, this is good. Yeah, you got you got this. There we go. I actually know how to do it. I'm just really lazy right now. So. No problem. I, I, I'm, I'm the support commentator, really. <laughs> uh, okay, so you... who's up next? It looks like it's... Is it Dizzy and Gavin? Is that right? I think so. Yeah, Dizzy and Gavin. So. Okay, let's do this, Gavin. Oops. We got caps. All right. And this is Dizzy. Dizzy, yes. Now, Dizzy, new, uh, he's a new player, but you know, he's shown that he wants to learn. He's invested his time. This is his first tournament, believe it or not. Oh, it is? Yes, yeah, his first tournament. And he's got to go up against the Juggernaut and Gavin. I know. His first match tournament is against Mr. Titan Killer, we, we call him. The Titan Killer? Yeah, Gavin, Titan Killer. Wow. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Now, Chun Li Ryu is not easy for Ryu. There's not a lot that you know, Ryu can really do to stop Chun Li Onslaught. But Ryu's got this. Really nifty super called Denjin. Easy to stun. You can't block it. You must parry it. So you know, I, I definitely think if you're playing Denjin against Chun, you gotta go in. You have to. I I, I would agree. It's yes. hard to get meter, but you can't give Chun the meter, and you gotta take risks. I mean, it's it's tough, but just coming from a Chun player, a lot of moves will stuff you out. You gotta go in. But I think one of the great one of the things you must do, you must instill fear in Chun Li. Absolutely. You you gotta let you gotta put Chun Li on notice, telling him you're willing to do those low forward hurricanes, you're willing to dash in, down parry and do your thing. It's tough. Alright now Chun Li's sitting on one more bar. That could have been it right there. That, that's that's it. it. Whenever she's ready, I'm gonna run it. Stand strong. Super. Gavin is really good at that confirm. Mm, yes. Strong solid play. It's a very good it's a very good to deter deter dashes. It's fast. Yeah, you just kind of throw that out there. Excellent spacing tool as well. You know, when you're in the corner, just put it out there. Step back a little, or else they will just forward parry. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see if Dizzy can do anything about it. Again, this is pretty hard for Dizzy, but yeah, I mean, he, it's experience. It is definitely experience, and the only way you're going to get better at this game is to play people that are exactly. better. Exactly, exactly. Now, yeah, you cannot play this like a foot the, the Yeah, chat. you can. Ex especially with Denjin, you you gotta play this like a. I'm willing to take more risks than you. Expect right. and you gotta take it before she has meter. This is definitely correct. Now, uh, Chunli burns the meter, but oh, there we go, lead. stuff like that. Oh no, why isn't he using Denjin? Oh no, okay, oh, no. a little Those bit of chance, a little bit of experience right there. That's quite all right. 
It, it's 7-3 for Chun, unless your name is currently Gavin and Dizzy. Then <laughs> it's a little different. Oh, gosh. oh man, he doesn't even want to spend the meter. There's oh, a whiff. missing the confirm. Gonna whittle away. Yeah, I mean, it is a risk reward match. And, and you could say that for, honestly, most matchups, but for this one, I think it's more for, more true than most. Oh, oh that's it. Oh, nope, he's still oh, good. He's still, still sorry. Corner carry? No, goes for the. Uh, go for the cross up. Lex. All right, and that one is Mr. Gavin takes it. All right. How do how do I do the? So you click the, the play or that's uh, report scores. Okay, okay. And then you click the winner, it, and then and then make sure you click the winner up top. Yeah, there you go. Very well it, done. Let's see who we got coming up to the stream right now. Who is next? Who's next? We got David from Alaska. David from Alaska. Yes, that's right. Alaska is here along with the Warden of the North, Lance himself. And there, you guys can see him on the player cam. Is, oh, he, is he bonus points? What's his name? What's his name? Bonus points. Bonus points? Okay. Bonus points. Yes. That, got, that is an interesting name. I like I like that. I, I like it too. Bonus points and David. All right. David from Alaska. All right, Urian Ken. Okay, it's a match in Ken's favor. Ken's got a lot of stuff that can stuff Urian. Urian, I believe, has the second best super in the game in the Aegis Reflector. It makes a character that is kind of marginally bad a threat, a huge threat, easy damage. Right. You know, and, and, and just to give David a little bit of credit here, for, I mean, you will never know just by telling, but he's, he's a little off his game right now. He hasn't been sleeping for, for days. Has he been, just been grinding the game? Well, I mean, it's, it's just, you know, he had a really long flight coming all over from Alaska and other places. You know, oh. he, he wouldn't, look, I flamed, he would never do stuff like that. But he hasn't slept for, I think, three or four days. Well, wow. wow. He missed a super there, punish. Let's go for this trip. Before nothing, yes, looking for that dash. David not. David getting it. Bonus points nods his head. David's smiling. He's got it's it. Okay. It's okay. Bonus, bonus points. I think he's from North Carolina. He's we he is wearing a Lost Ark video game t-shirt. That's right. Shout out to the Lost Ark video games. I know a lot of players had a great session there a couple days ago. Again, again, multiple sweeps. Now those sweeps, you're not gonna get a, a huge punish off of them with Urian. Urian can still low forward then. Just tick damage off of it. There we go. Opting for a simple combo. Bounces out. Oh, oh no, man. no super. Overhead, uh, that, no confirm. I think David's tiredness is showing. It's, it's possible. He's gonna watch this stream in a couple of days and just go, what on earth was I doing? Oh no. Dash throw. This is his chance, bonus points, let's go. Corner pressure. Oh, Ooh. nice try. I like that. I like that try. Good effort. Good you you got to let him know that you have the ability to parry that too. Right. Especially in that situation, you know, you're going to die otherwise from that. Yes. you got to try. Spartan Bob. Wake up jab. Interesting. Might have been a... Might have been a... Long, long nice. Oh, Stops the dash. Like that. Crouch fierce super corner pressure. Does there we go. It? He has it. David has woken up. Someone get him a coffee. The beast. One more. Oh, one two more. in a row. David. All right. Do a third one, David. Do it. Do it for Alaska. Oh, no. Uh, get it. This time he went low. All right. Game one to David. One to David. Very good. Good. Now, the problem with Urian in this game is that he's got, he doesn't have a lot of priority on any of his moves. Right, but he does have long legs. Long legs. So... You know, he can, he can footsie with you, but it's not really a threat. But you're not looking to be a footsie threat with Urian. You want to get there, make the opponent make a mistake, and then you get to do the shenanigans. Launchers right. into shields, into bullshit. I absolutely agree with that. Yes. I definitely think, you know, a lot of the top Urian players, they will just stand back and build meter all day. Right. Yeah. All day long. They don't need to go in. Right. Now what's uh, crazy about, what's scary about this matchup is that Ken, he's just dangerous no matter what. From the get-go, he can sell right. damage. He doesn't need meter. Right. Wait, there's a, there's there a mistake right there. It's the punish. Ooh, a little too close for the overhead. Bro. Good. Wake up. Head by, oh, and a wake just up. do it. Oh my god. That is David's signature move so far, but he's missed this one. Two for three. Two for three. That's all right. That ain't nice bad. Try. Two out of three are bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Gets the guard break. Oh no. Oh. If he had only just done one short, he would have been okay. What is going on right now? Bonus points. Looking a little flustered. All right, here we go. Stops the dash. Go forward, super. 
Uh, Triton, you have not missed much. We've really just started. This is the third match of the day so far. And I believe there are other matches going on on the non-stream cabinets as well. I would hope so, so that the stuff runs faster. Bonus points. Gets a launcher into tackle, but no biggest follow-up. Oh, nice cross-up by David. Oh, that's, nope. that's that. I think that's it. Yep. And David takes it 2-0. Well fought. Well fought indeed. So again, folks, thank you for joining us here for the Clash of the Titans. We have just started the singles tournament. I am Dora Lath, your commentator. With me, Carson Lee, Kevin Tempura. There we go. Guys, you're watching. Th this is the third strike major to, to be at right now. We wish you guys could all be here, but we're happy that you're tuning in. Where is, uh, where's Rico? Uh, I'm not too sure. So, fun. who do we have here playing? Oh, this is this. Is this the match we got so far? Fine. Huh? Which, what, who's this? Guy? Okay, okay. So we're just changing up things here, and we're just killing off the character. Necro, one of the could be could be a character in Street Fighter Five. He's in the background. I mean, we'll see what happens. So that's Data Breakman. Oops. There we go. And is is Ko. Okay. So disregard what you guys just saw, just killing off the character. Never a problem. Wait, it's Isco? I've been calling him Rico all this time. I I don't know. <laughs> I'm literally just looking at the brackets. You oh probably my. know you probably know more people than I do here. Oh my god. Awesome. No. Any uh so can you tell us about where these players are from? Any, uh, you know yet? Well, I have no idea where Breakman is from, but Rico, I know, is from Texas. Okay, very good. Uh, unless I can click this and it'll tell me. Yes. No, I can't. All right, so this, mess up that. So this is the first... All right, this is honestly the first Necro we've seen all day? On yeah, game. I think so. There's, I think there's only two Necros in the entire tournament. It has to be him wow. and Mutant XP from uh, New York. Yes. And this is a matchup you're not normally going to... You normally don't see Necro and Yang. Nice. Yeah, definitely not a calm matchup. Look for that anti arrow with the back with the back fierce. It's from Georgia, he says. Okay. Okay. Let's get a Rico. Don't be afraid. Or Isco. Oh, nice block. Uh, now Super One again uh, uh, for Necro. He's probably doing it to try and dis uh, discourage a dive kick because it's a, a very good anti air. Right. Short bar, easy to confirm as well. You can also do that thing where when you're in the corner after you get a throw, You're right. A neutral throw, you get a. Uh, I think it's Fierce Punch and it just juggles off. Really? Yeah, it's it's an awkward thing. The intricacies of this game. But Breakman, you gotta go in. Oh, nice try. Yeah, as they say, strong versus high stun or low health characters. I think I think Breakman is trying the triple jab into the EX Slashes, but haven't uh, that, exactly working out. That was the situation you were just talking about. Yeah, the that was it. The, the down Fierce. Rico going in. Oh, that's that's tough. Oh, drop a heal. He had to parry that, I think, or he would have died. Yes. 1-0 for his cut. All right. Let's see what Breakman says. Now, Breakman's got his, his teammates here. They're discussing what's going on. I think, is that Blood Cell? That is that. Is yeah, that I think it is. Oh, Blood Cell's awesome. For those of you who don't know, Blood Cell is a, is a, a new player, but he has been constantly, consistently coming out to new tournaments, new Blood Battle Royals, right. tits. Doing very well, actually. I would I would honestly say he's probably the best new player I would that agree. we've had joined recently. Yeah, I, I remember watching him play on PSN. I used to play there, and he would be on there. I didn't, I had no idea who he was. Very aggressive, you know, yeah. not afraid of anything. Yeah, and he's improved a lot. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Hope he keeps playing. Yes. Keep the community strong. But right now, oh, nice confirm by Mr. Isco. Oh, oh with throws. Throw. Ooh. You know, for those, you, you just got to block that. Necro is going to do it. If you don't know what to do, don't try to red parry. Just block it. He can't do anything after that. Yeah, blocking is a very underrated skill in this game. And Absolutely. By, by blocking, we, you know, we actually mean holding back, not the Japanese, you know, blocking. Right. <laughs> actually, their work to parry. You got you to be willing to play defense at times. Yeah, I think when a lot of people play this game, they do the, oh, I don't understand, it's guess parrying. They right. try to guess parry themselves. There is a time to guess parry. Don't, don't worry about that. But most of the time, work on your fundamentals. Work on your blocks. Right. Don't be don't be afraid to block a couple hits. I mean, 
Sometimes blocking a hit is the difference between, you know, getting getting hit oh. by a big combo or something else. See, that's why you have that SMM. Breakman putting him in the corner. Oh no, what happened? It'll wake up SA2. Why not, right? Oh, oh. nice try. I mean, he was going for jab, 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 EX slashes, but whatever. Right. That worked. Hey, he's still got a full bar. I mean, he's got one bar going on, so he's got enough for EX slashes. Yeah. Really the best move that Gang EX has. EX slashes all day. Yes. Tornado hooks. I'm not afraid. He's just doing it right now. Simple. Oh, nice command grab. Yeah. Oh, nice try. Necro, oddly enough, the one winning the air battle. Uh oh, didn't get the confirm. It, no punish. You know, I always laugh when Necro jumps because he's so slow, and then, you know, when he jumps, it's a commitment. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's rough for him. Oh, uh, slashes. No okay, punish. no punish. Can't do that. I, I don't think Breakman knows this matchup too well. He's just kind of doing the regular. Right. The standard Yang. Okay, that is that is 2 0 for Isco. Well fought to Isco. Well fought to Isco. Update these scores. Isco mm. 2 0. Yeah. That's, yeah, little, the, the first odd matchup we've seen. Most people see this game as just a Yan Chun Ken fest, but there are other beautiful characters. Who, in this who game. do we have to, right now? So, who do we have right now? Anybody can anybody tell us? Who is who are these two? Bran, who do we have? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll just type it here. So we're just uh, changing the names up real quick, guys. So the second player is Phil. First player is Everett. Everett. Ever. 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 Okay. Very good. Here, let me look up the name. Making sure we get that all right. All right, so now Ryu W, even matchup. It's okay, we, we messed up things. I will fix this. Dark Light. Dark Light. Okay, that's Dark Light. And Phil, but he's going to go for Jam. Oh, he's Jamboree. Oh, Jamboree. Definitely an Xbox Live guy. Nice. Okay, this matchup is this really fun. I think it's an even matchup. W, uh, you know, he does suffer a lot from how good the roundhouse is of Ryu. No punish there. Okay. Yeah, again, there's that roundhouse. It's going to be a big problem for Dudley. Gets, gets the confirm on the dart shot. Dart shot, arguably the, the fastest of the command overheads in the game. And Jamboree takes the first game. Yes. Fairly convincingly, might I add. Just want to reposition that? or Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I don't think it's in Ryu's favor. I think it's an even match just because Dudley, he's still got a lot of good pressure. Ryu on wake up, I mean, you still have to worry about EX, EX separate cut, but again, Dudley's Oki game, still so solid, arguably the best in the game. So a lot of things that, a lot of counteracting factors that I believe make, make the match even. So in the second game here, we open it up, Jamboree already massacred, he's got Ryu on 50% life, nice, taking the throw. Mm, sure, sure, super. Yes. Let's go, row set up. No, no, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, Dudley, Jamboree, He's on match point. Good punish. Yes. Let's go. It's time to let that dungeon rip. Get a throw, and then you're good. Oh, oh nice no. try. I think he wanted the uppercut cancel. A little bit too far there. Decides to burn an EX. Wow, signs of life from Dark Light. Nice. Signs of life. Dark Light taking one without even using the dungeon. Mm. Not bad. Now with a dungeon, you you want to ideally get the opponent to about half half a bar of stun. Yes. When you've got them cornered, and then you force them into block stun, and then make them guess on where the parry is. Right. As as RKF and Vanal would say, it's time to play baseball. <laughs> yes. Oh no! Couldn't do the punish. No low forward hurricane. You're still in it. That's okay. Don't give up. You're okay. Let's see what he does. Oh, wake up. wake up, uppercut and dungeon. Release, full parry by Jamboree. He got four hits out of that. That's it. Okay. And Jamboree takes that 2-0. Very good. I feel like I should, I should give Exo the other chair. Okay, okay, we're good. Uh, no worries. 
Yeah. yeah. I update all, have all the ones. Okay. Yeah. So Kevin Tempura is making sure the brackets are updated. Okay. Everett versus Sherwin. Top. I'm just going to the top. Sherwin Dudley. One of my favorite Dudleys to watch from SoCal. I grew up. Okay, so this is Sherwin. Everett. One R. All right, here we go, guys. Yes. Uh, I see a Mecha MacGyver in here. Okay, so the winner of this will face Shotokan. That'll be later on, though. Yeah. Three, five I think three. they get it. <laughs> All right, so Exodus has posted the link to the brackets if you guys want to continue along with who is where in the tournament. <laughs> I just Are you doing the tournament over there, too? I... I, I I'm gonna save it. So you're just gonna do this one? Oh, and that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is NYC Frankie 3S, the second, the second iteration. Not our Lord and Savior Frankie 3S from Family Fun Arcade. No, no, it's a different one. Yes. All right, so here we go. But just as solid though. Just as solid. Just as solid. Sherwin, go in. Yeah. There's that Perry bait. Is Sherwin the best proclaimed Dudley, self-proclaimed Dudley in SoCal? I don't think he's the best self-proclaimed Dudley, but he's usually a guaranteed win. Okay, good because answer. He's, good answer. he's a Sherwin. Okay. Yes. I like that. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, and by that I really just mean gentlemen. I'll be here all night. I'll, I'll probably be here half the night, so yeah. if you hate me, you can, you can say something. All right. Sherwin with really good spacing. There's the short tackle Ask into EX Agus. Asking if anybody knows where Ricky. Yeah, she's upstairs. <laughs> he says. She's upstairs, okay. Hold the tournament as long as we can. Yep. Excuse me. Hit her up on Twitter. That's a good point. Good point. Hold on, just a just a Okay, looking for that tackle, gets the dart shot into the corkscrew blow. Goes for Oki, good parry, stops the dash with Reynolds, machine gun blow, machine gun blow. Oh, gets the reset, not the full follow up combo. One, two, three, that target combo. Deadly demand of a million target combos. Nice. Yeah. He's, he's gonna abduct super, yeah, he's gonna duck super. Chip he's, him out. He's gonna duck super. He's gonna do it. I think he's gonna do it. Oh, see, he that tried it. it. He tried it. it. He's gonna do it again. See, wow. third time is the charm. You are Nostradamus. <laughs> he, he, he just knew. <laughs> One zero for Sherwin. I mean, I mean, to be fair, Fred, if you want to be the one updating the bracket so that yeah. we don't have to, that'd be great. Fred. Fred. I think Fran needs to call people up. Yeah. So I will be the pencil pusher. I'll be the pencil. All right, very good. No right. problem. Sherwin with the first game. Let's see if Everett can adapt. Using the jab. Nice. You can see an anti-air. Corner. corner, let's go. Good punish there on the anti-air fireball. You don't want to test Sherwin's reactions on that. Yeah, you absolutely don't. Yeah. I played this guy a bunch of times, too. See, his Dudley is solid and aggressive. But right now, he's taking it kind of slow. Maybe he's afraid of the Dudley punishes? It's possible. Yeah, especially with the jump-ins. Everdren not afraid going in. Nice. Launcher. Nice. He walks himself into the corner. Dark shot. I'm not sure. Ooh, that. Ooh, now if he had done ex, if he had done the ex head, but he would have killed right now. Oh no, Evertrap. Oh my goodness. Oh, no. oh Evertrap pulling one back. I, see, I I think Sherwin is a scared, a little scared of the jump in. Parry. Might, yeah. Right. Yeah. After uh, he got parried, he got punished a lot. Yep. Oh no, Evertrap. Let's see. Come on. Sherwin is the American. He's the American Fujiwara. I, I think so right now. But he's he's got a. I think he just has to warm up a little bit because his execution is a little off right now. Everett fighting back. Good reactions. Oh, nice by Everett. Not afraid. Walking up. Oh, nice. Headbutt. Wake up. That's the last hit. Oh, no. That is a, so that's like the fourth miss from Sherman. He is. 
He's got to get those. I think Sherwin's thinking about this too much. Yeah, I think so too. There it is. Nice. Let's go Sherwin. Now the, cra now the crazy thing is, if the move has enough active frames, it can actually stop the EX Aegis from coming out. EX Aegis is supposed to come out instantly, but if there's something on top of Urien, it'll actually stop from from, uh, uh, from throwing that out. I mean, honest to God, I didn't think he would do wake up. He just look, it worked. Yeah. And in retrospect, it's in some shape or form actually kind of smart, but I didn't think he was going to do it. You know, Urien could do more stand to stop Dud from jumping, but he's also got to uh, be very careful. Huh? Well, okay, so uh, we got to kill it off, pick yeah. the wrong, wrong super. Hey, hey, he... Hey, 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 you can just kill him. He picked the wrong suit. Yes. Uh, yes. Urian stand, medium punch. Uh, also a good, uh, a good thing. I also like, I also like the, the jab. If you think they're gonna try and uh, try and parry, jabs, like machine gun jabs with Urian. It's very good to stop, uh, stop jumping. Not just against Dudley, but also against every character. So, uh, to prevent a jump. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. It's just a good move altogether. I think the Stand Fierce, the Chop, the Atlanta Braves Chop. Okay. I work for you. Sherwin in deep contemplation for, about for what today. he's going to do. He owes me a rose for a paycheck. Ha! A rose. Maybe a kiss from a rose on the gray. Mm, I love that song. Yes. One of the greatest karaoke songs ever. And if, you don't and if you don't believe me, I will fight you. All right, now we're back. Sherwin, one. Everdread, one. Everdread, I think, making an impressive showing right now. He's not a, to be pushed over. This is the first matchup we've had to go all the way to the third game. Everything else has been a 2-0. Well. Right. Good. Good from Sherwin. From Launcher, no good. Are you going to be updating the scores? Or do you want me to do it? All right, he gets the overhead into the super no, right now. He's doing really well to keep to keep Urien in the corner. Great adjustments from Sherwin. Sherwin on match point. Ooh, nice. Sherwin's awake. Nice, he gets the strong confirm into super. Back in the corner again. Now, I'm not sure why Everett went for an overhead there. Wake up. Oh, the seventh block. Oh, there's oh. no punish. Oh my goodness. Grabbed him out of EX backswing blow. Well done. The parry. Everett is 1 1 down. No no super. He has got to make something happen. He's going to duck super. He's going to duck super. It's going to be duck super. Oh, no, yeah. oh my goodness. Nice Smart. try. Low I block. think excellent. An excellent well showcase fought. from Everdread over here. Ever, ever, is that Everdread? Ever, Everett, Everett, Everett. Everett. Yes. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it <laughs> wrong. All right. So again, I want to thank you guys for joining us here. The Clash of the Titans at the Fall Classic. So we're just changing a couple things here really quick. Okay, we're not changing a couple things here real quick. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever can be done. Okay. Luke versus. Got him. All right, Luke and Nanos. Luke. Oh uh, yes. Uh, in, in case you guys did not tune in yesterday, Luke is. I would say the MVP of yesterday's general battle. Ah, uh, yes. He took out <laughs> half of Mika Ko's team, right? I, you know what's sad? I don't remember. Oh, I, you don't? I don't remember the general <laughs> battle. He took me out. <laughs> I, I, I don't remember what happened, dude. Luke from Texas. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, I got, I got wrong the wrong side. Oh, oops. It's okay. It's okay. That's all right. Luke, everybody cheering for Luke. <laughs> there it is. He got fans. <laughs> and Nanos. Alright, now this is not an easy matchup for Urien. Very difficult. Hurricane K all day. Plus he is the M he is the MVP of Texas currently. Yes. There it is. No, you can't really punish that uh, Tatsumaki Roundhouse. Unpunishable by Urien unless he gets a red parry. Right, you have to red parry. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice parry. 
And even then, you have to guess between four or five, I guess. That's true. Nice, slow parry. Let's go. Does he Aegis? Does he use it? He teleport, yeah. Yes. That, that is what makes this matchup so difficult. You yes. know, Urien needs that Aegis Reflector, and Akuba can just get the heck out of there anytime he wants. It's tough. One of the things that Urien's got to remember, since there's that teleport, you don't want to just commit to a move altogether. Right. Make Akuma eat the chip. Make right, it. absolutely. Yeah. He can chip out with the super. See, See there's, that an there's that anti air stand medium punch. That Atlanta Braves chop. Yeah, yeah. nice. Well played. Luke showing the power of Akuma in this matchup. Air fireballs and Tatsu. He's got a lot of space control. Yeah. Aye, 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 yes. Oh my Triple god, nice. Team. Put himself in the corner, but that's okay. Oh my oh, god. That's silly. Yeah. For a split second, I thought it would have worked though. Uh oh. Oh, get him, get him with the pan pan. Ooh, overhead. Nanos trying to find his way through. Gets the oh, up Nanos got yes. it, yes. Yes. Great adjustment from Nano, not afraid. Yes. I don't care if it's a, what, it's a 7 3 matchup or something, he's gonna yeah. do it. Now, I do agree with the chat. Some of the players uh, that play Yurian against uh, Akuma, they'll switch to Super 1 just strictly for the damage. You know, I never really thought about that. But I guess some of them will actually even pick Super 2 for stun. Because, you know, Akuma with the shortest stun bar in the game, not a bad idea. I think what a lot of people, at least a lot of the other Yurians I see, is they use the SA3 as is, expecting the teleport. Right. And they force the Akuma then to guess are you going to teleport? Are you going to stay? Or are you going to go all the way? Because they're going the other way. You know, it's a 50 50 from there. Right. Okay. Oh, there nice. we go. Luke with the sky symbol. Ooh. Ending it off. 1 0 for Luke. 1 0 for Luke. Texas is up. We love this guy. You heard the crowd chanting earlier, chanting his name, Luke. And, and as a complete side note, he's really tall. Yeah. Like, have you seen? Well, I mean, you're really tall, too. No, no, he's like. Yeah, like, he's really tall. He's like 6'7. Like, we should guess his height and ask him first. Yeah, I'm going to guess 6'6. Six, six. I'll go 6'7. Six, okay. <laughs> is Luke the king of Texas? I wouldn't go that far, but. He is the MVP right. of the, he is the Texas MVP of TFC. Yes. Pretty much no questions asked. <laughs> All right, so there's something you, you actually could have punished that since it was only short Tatsu. Oh, there's the punish. Boom. Nice, the corner carry. No, no problem, that's EX, yep, there we go. The best possible, pun oh my, Ooh. I didn't know you could just working out of that. That's the thing, I guess. Short, short, no nothing. Super. Take the fireball. Oh, man. Nice. Oh, and the normal throw. Now, one of the things that you guys got, also got to remember, Akuma actually has the best anti-air in the game. Bar none. I, I would agree with that. Easily. If he's, he's such a versatile character. Right. And the only drawback is, well, he takes damage like a baby. And he can't have EX moves, but whatever. He doesn't need EX moves. He doesn't need EX moves, yeah. He has a triple fireball. Yes. <laughs> he has a fire fireball. <laughs> oh, All the God. fire. Nanus has to make something happen. Nice. Push it out. Luke not showing anything. Not afraid. Got oh him. my goodness. That is Ooh. two for Luke. Double Kara Demon. Oh well fought. Hey, hey, it. hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. How tall are you? Don't think we bet on this, goddammit. <laughs> oh my yes. god. He thinks, though. Oh my. Okay, Luke. Luke has confirmed he's six, six seven, seven. But I'm he said he thinks he's six seven. That's okay. So I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I really I'll let this. Six I'll seven is like eight twelve. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, right. right now we got mutant XP. Mutant XP, the old man. And then we got T T T Zong, I guess. Zong. I don't know. Zong. Yeah. You next be the old man, the transplant. He's now NYC. Probably the best necro player here at the tournament, maybe in America. Yeah, I, I would agree so. Yeah, yeah I would agree so. I think he. I think at one point we asked him if he was going for best necro in the America or best necro in the world. Oh, <laughs> you should always go for best in the world. Best in the world. CM Punk style. Over the throw. Now we got the corner game from Necro. 
Basically, that, that little whiff in the, in the uh, when it was waking up doesn't hit, not meant to hit. Literally, just make you freeze and block. You know, I have to say, just because I've studied Newton a little bit when I had to go play up against him, uh -huh. he is excellent for waking up and doing something. Yes. I think he's the best at doing that. So, you know, I, I could see a lot of that. You know, especially when he's in the corner, he'll wake up, do that back, the back elbow shoot. thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Into super. And Newton is the best at that. He's so many years of playing this game just taught him to look for certain things. Everything's high percentage with him. And I guess it's Necro. You just can't be afraid. You have so much you have solid damage up with solid stun. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's like 75% stun right there. I oh, think you're done. His stun output is, I think, second in the game, second all in the photo. There we go. One, two, three, F. Mutant XP, one. All right. I'm not sure if Zong here has ever like fought a Necro of right. Mutant's caliber. So let's see what he does to try and adapt. I, I would say if you haven't, uh -huh. best to just keep your distance, wait till Necro jumps, yes. and just go for the AX Hurricane. That's it. I think that's your best way to get in. Yeah, that's a good because footsie-wise, I mean, like, Necro is, is winning with those ex ridiculously long arms. Yes. It's not fair. Well, it was long arms like that. It is Ken, though. And Ken, I mean, Ken does win this matchup, but... Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's the one thing about that's the one thing about tier list matchups, folks. Remember, they do exist, but it is up to the player to confirm the victory. Right. And this game, the nature of parry and everything makes it so that a character like Necro can beat a character like Ken. Exactly. You know, I remember one of the SBOs, Riki Maru, Chun Li, one of the best Chun Li's in the world. Yes. Lost against uh, what was his re the Remy on uh. Was it Piero? Yeah. It